I've always heard that in Venice, all of the streets are made of water. And you'll quickly find out that that's absolutely true. I mean, mostly, with some exceptions. Okay, so how do you even get into a city that's completely surrounded by water? Scopriamolo. The main city of Venice is an island in an enclosed lagoon on the edge of the Adriatic Sea, on the northeast coast of Italy. But that's not even the whole truth. It's actually over a hundred small islands close together. While it all feels like one unified city, there are endless waterways surrounding and weaving between these tiny islands. These are the famous canals. But since 1933, Venice has been connected to the mainland by a bridge called Ponte della Libertà. This is your only way into Venice if you're getting here by car, bus or tram. You'll end up in an area called Piazzale Roma, where there are cars, paved roads and even a parking garage. But this is the end of the road, literally. Your car stays here. Every point of entry into the rest of the city is strictly by foot or by boat. And that same bridge also carries trains. But if you're visiting the main city of Venice, you should make sure to book a ticket for Venezia Santa Lucia. There is a train station called Venezia Mestre one stop earlier, but that's on the mainland. It's not the historic Venice that you're probably expecting. When you're on the train, you'll hear the announcement for Venezia Mestre, and unless you know that's where you're going, you should probably stay in your seat. Wait a little longer until you hear the announcement for Venezia Santa Lucia. This is where most visitors will want to go, and it is the final stop for any train headed into Venice. When you walk out of the train station, you'll get your first taste of the beautiful historic architecture and the Grand Canal, the largest and busiest waterway in the city. This area is generally known as Ferrovia, the Venetian word for train station. And it's just one bridge and a short stroll from Piazza de Roma. So you can drive or arrive by train, but I think a lot of people will be arriving in Venice by airplane. Of course, and as any other major city in the world, there is a Venice airport. It's just not in the city, so you will still need to catch a taxi, boat or bus into the city. So if you're taking a taxi, just go out the front door of the airport and there are taxi stands there. Let them know you're going to Venice, Venezia or Piazza de Roma. Don't even bother telling them the name or address of your hotel because they'll only get as far as Piazza di Roma. Same for the bus. Speaking of bus, several bus and coach companies can take you to Piazza di Roma from the airport. The one I recommend is the public company ACTV. If you want to plan ahead, you can check the schedule at their website. Look for the bus and tram timetables. If you're coming from the airport, you should look at the urban network. And at the time of this recording, Line 5 is the one that goes between Venice and the airport. When you look at the schedule, keep in mind that feriale means weekdays, including Saturdays, and festivo means Sundays and bank holidays. You can buy a ticket at the ticket office in the airport, or you can use the vending machine at the bus stop. You'll find the buses lined up right in front of the airport. If you're using the ACTV bus, find this machine and buy a ticket for Aerobus. You can buy a one-way ticket or you can get a round trip. With the Aerobus ticket, you're looking for bus number five, destination Venice. But I think the best option is to arrive by plane and then take a boat from the airport. Now we're not talking about the gondola, those don't go as far as the airport. And there are water taxis, but those are pretty expensive. I think the best option is a service called Alley Laguna. It's basically like an airport shuttle, but on a boat. I suggest you go to the Alley Laguna website in advance to identify the route you need. Say your language, then take a look at the different lines or routes. You're choosing between the blue, orange, or red lines, or blue, arancio, or rosa. Choose one to see the list of stops, or you can look at the map. You should do some research so you know where you're staying in Venice and choose the route that has a platform closest to your destination. For example, I usually stay right around here. 
On the blue line, there's no Ali Laguna stop nearby, but on the orange line, the stop for Ponte Guglia is perfect. Once you've found the right line and you know which stop you want, then go back and switch over to the timetable section to check when the boat will leave the airport and arrive at your stop. Back at the airport, in the luggage pickup area, there's a machine to buy tickets for Ali Laguna. Once you leave the luggage pickup area, you won't be able to get back to this machine, but that's fine because you can still buy your ticket at the ticket booth at the dock. For either Ali Laguna or a private water taxi, find the signs for water transport and follow those. Find the ticket booth or biglietteria and you can buy your ticket there. And if you know the date you're returning to the airport, you might buy a return ticket at the same time. Find the line for your route, arancio, rosa or blue. A few minutes before the scheduled departure, somebody on the boat will check your ticket and let you on the boat. As you get close to the city, you need to keep an eye out for your stop. These are small boat docks, but they're brightly labeled with black text on yellow. As you approach your stop, make sure the boat operators know you're getting off there. If you don't stand up and get moving, they're not going to come looking for you. If you already have your return ticket, that's great. If you don't, you might be able to buy it on the boat on the day of your departure. And you can also buy it in advance at some newsstands. And that's it. You've just been dropped on the edge of one of the most unusual cities you'll ever experience. Just remember, there are no roads, so nobody to take you to the door of your hotel, unless you're willing to pay for a pretty expensive water taxi and you're staying at a hotel that has a water taxi stop. So you might want to check out our video on using public transportation in Venice and our video on exploring Venice by food. So let's get ready to explore. <laughs>